hey everyone welcome back to another session so in this in this session i am going to explain how to bring the custom fields uh, in the fury app uh, reports okay in the previous uh, session we have seen uh, how to bring the reference header key one field in abl 5 and record if it is not there how we have uh, how to bring we have seen so just a second yeah uh, in the previous session we have seen how to bring the field reference key header one in the abl 5 and report uh, with the help of uh, using the special field of the configuration so if i need the same thing in the same report in the fury then what we have to do whether this uh, once we have maintained the special fields so of the configuration in the gui it will also reflect there it means uh, it, it will not reflect there to bring the field in a fury app there is a separate configuration we have to do uh, that thing we will discuss in this today's session okay so let's get started now uh, let me log into the fury this is my fury app so if i go here so first of all i will show you the manage customer line item report this is the report uh, where i need the custom fields okay so now here i'm giving my company code as a 2000 and then click on go and if i click here this is the settings here we have the all the fields if the field is not exist here so we have uh, another fury app which is uh, custom fields and logic in that fury app we need to make the settings then only it will appear here so if i go by reference by default uh, the reference uh, fields are showing here if i select here it will throw an error saying that uh, resource not found in assignment uh, something it's showing uh, by default it's why it's showing here means uh, we have did the configuration in gui right and the special field that's why it's showing here but when i select that field it's throwing the uh, error so uh, to resolve this error we need to maintain the field in the uh, in this uh, fury app uh, which is uh, custom fields and uh, logic now let me go into that fury app so this is a fury app name custom fields and logic so here so here we have to go to data source ex extension okay and then click on the create icon and then give the okay one second okay give the data source manage customer line item Okay, then select this one customer line item report here and then you can mention the description like uh, anything you can mention i'm just mentioning reference key one header and then click on create and then here you can see uh, customer line item just here expand the customer line item and then you will see customer and customer company code and general entry the the i feel the i need a field reference header key one that will be available in the general entry just expand this one and then scroll down you will be seeing a multiple fields here based on your requirement you can select the field so for as of now i need a reference key one and two yeah here you can see reference key one and two these two are uh, header level one so i'm just activating these two and then click on save here you can see the fields once uh, i have uh, selected here 
the fields are coming here you can see here internal id reference key 1 in the document header internal id reference key 2 in document header document header okay then click on save here and then once it's saved then you need to click on the publish then then click on publish here now the status is showing as a publishing once it's done then you can go to the customer line item report and you can execute the report okay let me open another screen okay let me go to manage customer line item report manage customer line item and here i'm just entering my company code and then click on go Okay. yeah now data has been populated now we need to bring the, the reference key 1 and 2 fields then click on settings here just enter RDF now you can see reference key reference 1 and 2 earlier we were, uh, we were getting an error now that error will resolve now just click on ok Now you can see the option here, uh, the data is populating now. Okay, so this option is available uh, from S4 HANA 2020 onwards only. Uh, till 1909, this feature is not available, but this Fury app is there. Uh, the Fury app uh, custom fields and logic. This Fury app is available uh, till 1909, but the field addition at a company code level and general entry, this, uh, yeah let me show you this fury app is there in 1909 but uh, uh, this option is not available you can see here uh, the company code level yeah this company code level and the general entry these options will not be available in, till 1909 these options are enabled from 2020 onwards only okay yeah yeah so this is the process to activate the fields in the fury app like uh, uh, customer line item report or vendor line item report or general in, uh, GL line item report we have to use this this fury app and then we need to select the appropriate uh, uh, source fury app and then uh, we need to activate the fields okay that's all in this session thank you so much